Alright, hello YouTube. Welcome back once again to some more From the Depths. Now, immediately, uh, the reason I have this 404 here is because uh, Computer Error 404 is um, file not found. And you guys might have noticed if you saw the last episode, and indeed I believe someone even pointed it out to me, thank you whoever that was, uh, there was no voice audio in the last one. And that's not because I hadn't been saying anything. It was because if you remember, assuming you even saw it because I know what the algorithm's like, the episode I did just before the last From the Depths was an episode on H3VR, which I love that game. But to record that, I have to set the computer to record off the Valve Index's mic. And I forgot to set it back. So when I, even though the headset's not even turned on, uh, it hadn't defaulted back to having any mic set up. So I wasn't actually recording any of my audio. So I was talking to nobody. And I don't even remember half of what I even said. And I can't even go back and check. Because I've lost the audio. Uh, yeah, I didn't make that 404, by the way. That's what the game actually loads if it's missing files. Uh... So yes, I shall try to roughly go over what we did last time for those who saw it, realised the audio was busted and stopped watching, and I don't blame you at all for that. So let's take a quick sip of water, it's hot. Right. So for those who didn't see it, last time what we did, we capped over some of the deck, we added munition warning uh, beacons, we added la a laser anti-munition system, which is here. These sort of raised pylons are also that, and they have the uh, detection systems in them. To uh, beef up the seaways with our defences, and that's most of it, really. Um, this time, there's kind of two things I think I want to add. One is, one part of it is beneath the deck. The other two parts, actually, I suppose there's three things, are above the deck. So first of all, I want to add, because these are a little bit exposed, so I did point that out, and they are a little bit exposed above the deck. I want to add some cheap... Semi-expendable armor above deck to just protect the sides of the turret where it's raised up and a little bit more vulnerable. A little bit similar to the sort of extra panels we've had before. Turret should still have basically full aim, but that should just provide a little bit of extra spaced armor for if a shot hits it in the side. With these, I'm not so worried because they're already fairly well protected. What I might do for the sake of the looks is just add a little bit of a... A little bit of applique slope. Make it look like it's held up by something. Right. So, first thing I want to add, sonar, because that's going to be mounted underneath the hull. I think I'll add quite a few little sonar mounts. It's going to have a large signature, but I'm not going to worry too much about trying to hide it. It's already going to be massive. The ship's huge. I mean, look at it. It's bigger than a Megalodon, even if it's not going to necessarily be much bigger or more expensive cost-wise. The other thing I want to add today is the bridge. I'd like to get that installed, so... But what I can do is just do one, can't I? And then I can uh, copy it. What way about defending it too well? Because we're going for redundancy, and also it's right underneath the ship. It shouldn't theoretically be being hit under here. But yes, I really do apologize about that last episode. I have marked it as audio missing, whatever it was. Uh, just to make it clear that, yeah, something's wrong with this episode, so people, if they're like, oh, well, they don't want to waste my time with that, the audio is not even working on that episode. I will not blame you at all for having skipped it. I'm not even 100% sure what I'm going to leave it up, but I think I will for now in case people want to see it. Uh, what do I want? Prefab mode. Just in case they want to actually see the process of building, even if my commentary on it is completely missing. Some directions will be blocked, but that's fine. If we need more processing power, I'll set up a second processing power block inside the uh, bridge. Don't know how much extra these uh, sonar need. Not enough to knock it out at the moment. The next thing I want to add, underneath the hull, because there is another thing, I want to add some torpedo defences. So, what I'm thinking these will be is maybe a pair of turrets. Don't need too many of these, because they're not going to be that huge, and they sh we shouldn't have too many attacks incoming like this. And we want a fence turret. Want an all-in-one at the at the back. Uh, 
Then on this we want the missile controller. No, wait, that's the wrong one. We want the defense seaways controller. Okay, there we go. Go to here for medium. I don't believe these actually need to be too big, technically. The one's the... Oh, wait, no, I think they didn't need a gantry, so because the way they're set up. Well, it might have been me doing it wrong, but anyway. Uh, so, torpedo propeller. Bins, fuel tank. Yeah, they've got way more duration than they have even lifetime. Oh, that's, that's about right. Uh, where is it? Missile interceptor. Missiles, AI, missiles, warning cameras. Yep, that's right. Yeah, that's fine. Don't know whether adding extra explosives will help on this or not, so we'll maybe go with it. We'll go with that. We'll try it. Um, actually, let's add extra fins, then fuel tank, and we'll add a ballast tank. But we'll need that anyway. Our time. Put the thrust up a bit because it's only got 40 seconds of life anyway. Ramp time, zero seconds. I want you to gun it right out the gate. Let's try and blend it in a little bit of the hull to make it a bit tougher. There, then we want two meters. Based on, I really do apologize for that last episode. I probably should have caught that really, but oh well. It's up, it's too late now, so we'll just roll with it. Like I say, I'll, I'll leave it up for now. Uh, five seconds, okay. Uh, sub object, save it. Basic. Oh, hang on. No, not yet. There was something else I wanted to do with it. Uh, AI. Is it connected? Okay. Oh, of course. The all-in-one does indeed count as a... Um, um, it's an actual regular wireless connector. Oh, can't work underwater. Oh. How do you... In that case, what we'll do is we'll have a sonar guidance on it to try and pull torpedoes in. Uh, what about 500? Ah, uh, you know what, we did generate loads of power. We'll have it full. Right, and then this will be... Anti torp torps. Anti torp torps. I say that five times real fast. Right. We go symmetrical. I think that's right down the middle, isn't it? Yeah. Whoop. Oh. I think I deleted it. Oh, yeah, because I was still building on it, wasn't I? Whoops. So two of these, and we'll keep them primarily underneath the hull. That should make them less likely to get hit. This is another one where we need to test it. Right, so let's spawn a megalodon. Since it is what we're trying to kill, it seems only sensible to use it as our combat practice. Okay, torpedoes are out. Can we actually detect them to fire back? Yes. No.
What happened? Over here. Hmm. How does one... Oh, those are heavy. No, those are heavy torpedoes, right? That wasn't our interceptors at all, was it? Where are they? Oh, they are chasing. Do they actually work if they hit? Not sure. There, interceptors. Those are even smaller, aren't they? It's hard to tell how well they're working, but. Well, our main torpedoes are definitely hitting. Some of them, anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how one picks up targets if the. Detectors don't even work underwater. The decoys are definitely working. Maybe we should just stick to a. Uh, okay, I'm not even sure how you're supposed to detect for them. Maybe we should stick to our uh, decoy launchers. Yeah, heat torpedoes still landing hits. Oh dear. Definitely drawing in a lot more torpedoes with all those sonars running at any rate, but. Yeah, a little wide that we're just drawing in a lot more torpedoes now. Hmm. I'll maybe leave that one to you guys to let me to give you an update on that, because I'm genuinely not quite sure how one checks for that. I guess I'll watch them and see if they see anything. They must be receiving data, right? But again, from what we know, the missile things can't pick up torpedoes underwater, so I'm not sure how we... So they've fired. If we fire everything, does that fire them? No. Unless they're just too... So I really don't know on those. I'll leave them on there for the moment. If you guys could give me a heads up on that, because I'm genuinely not sure. How we tell with that one. Right, the next thing we're supposed to do is the bridge. Again, drinking lots of water because it is still hot. It's gotten a bit better over here, but it's still pretty hot. I'm thinking we do now also as we cap the uh, deck. We finish capping the deck. Side down quite easily, and then a vehicle. Okay, knocking my microphone off the deck desk just casually. Come on, Mike. You're literally stuck with, down with blue tech. What more do you want? Right, there you go. Right. Let's start with the first layer. I'd like to put some weapon systems on this. We'll get rid of the temporary mast as well. That was always just meant to be placeholder. Yes, yeah, so I would like to have some race weapon systems. We're going to make it alloy. Doesn't have to be super durable, but we are going to put the uh, the mast through the middle of it. 
so it will be providing a sort of spaced armor layout for the uh, mast. We go for a peanut bridge. So I'll narrow in for a bit. Great for a little bit and larger at the end. We'll also maybe add a couple of dummy funnels. Give it a looks. Maybe even put some heat decoys inside it. We'll make it a little bit tougher. It's alloy, it shouldn't weigh much. Now what I would like to use... Where's the decorations pack? I would like to use some of their nice large... Um, am I in the wrong place? I could have sworn it was there. Shit decorations pack. Yeah, I'd like to use some of their nice uh, radar masks, although I might potentially reinforce it. Which is the solid part of this, is it? It's that bit there. What it might do, though, is also... Yeah, build, a build up around it. That's why it looks cool with the realistic sort of shape. It also needs to be able to take a hit. Parts for the mass. Well, there's loads, but. Well, that kind of works as a, as a bit of a cap. Oh, that's like a thick mast, I see. Oh, I see, and then there's like a. Yeah, there's quite a lot of blocks for this. Let's see what we've got. Receiver? Oh yeah, you can have receivers hidden in them. And then we'll also have a yeah. Where's the not that we want the, the top mass? No. What is this piece called? Oh, I see. Gotta have a flag. Oh, wait, no, yeah, we can do the... Oh. Is there any other parts of a wireless receiver? Oh god, what was it? Ah, I can't remember what it's called. Not the flag. It actually even looks good after all this, but... Not great, we might just go for the, uh... Bigger AI pieces on the end of it. Okay. And up 
front and back, we could always have a... Actually, maybe more of a... Where is it? Oh, the snooper at the back, why not? Something similar at the front, but we'll use the smaller mast. 31 meter mast. Probably should be a mount at the top of the bridge, but it's fine. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing we can do. Should be a. It should be a ladder for it. Oh, I thought there was one for the really big one. Is there not? I imagine that I could have sworn there was a ladder for the big one. Yeah, you fall over. Oh, that's fine. We could do um, add still do a ladder on the uh, other one though. actual decoration though. So we can still put the uh, defensive things. Uh, so we can still put the column around it as well. So it can still look somewhat nice some of the armor. Yeah, that actually still looks all right. This one, and then we'll do. What we'll do with this one that's different is we'll also have munition warners on it. Make sure we've got a little bit of centralized munition warning. And above that, we'll have some more detections. So we'll have. So, but yeah, let's actually have thermal trackers as well, so we can check, check, check things on multiple spectrums. Quiet because I'm thinking. Right. Why oh, is that one red? That's working fine. Oh, no, it isn't because it can't see anything. That's fine. Right. On the back of it, why not? We'll fit. Slightly facing the wrong way, but. Won't well, hurt for this thing to be able to see somewhat on its own. On the uh, map, because I forget it is supposed to be a campaign craft as well. Most of the uh, bridge might be quite low, but that's fine. It's mainly decorative. Those because I cover the whole thing. Okay. Good save. I need to fill that because they already clipped through. And then we also want. Oh, what was it? Well, a little bit of a cabin. Is there anything to think of my desk again? To sit in. 
think there is a chair in the engine room, but at least visually it'd be nice to have an actual cabin. I'm thinking for that as we go. Actual floor is there. down for visuals again because I do like to make stuff look at least somewhat nice and this will be the actual cabin section that's mini bridge out of it, but it's actually a bit of window somewhere. Oh, isn't there a in the ship decorations? Isn't there another window that we could use here? Oh, that was it, the mast. That was the other bit I wanted, and some lifeboats and things on the inside. Uh, where is more window blocks? There we go. Oh, there's one that's actually like a window. Um, it's actually right at the... Yeah. Hey, that looks pretty alright. That looks a little strange, but can maybe move it off a bit. because there are some railings around the edge of the bridge as well. We'll also have, in the middle, I said, well, there's some funnels. Whoa. Okay, that might be a bit large, even for the size of the ship, but... Does it look any good, actually, or does it look... No, it doesn't look quite right. You need multiple for one that size. It doesn't look good. Right. Uh... Yeah, that'll look right. Oh. Let's say we'll try and fit some, like some basic weapons on there. I think this might be a flatter bridge than expected, but it's quite a low profile ship, so that's maybe not the worst thing in the world. Fit some more than ones under the deck to, to aim them. These are going to be very simple, primarily expendable guns, but let's have a little bit more fire pat. If, the, if these are firing, they're probably not, and they're not firing at a uh, a big ship. They might do something, and it's they'll be less at risk themselves. Right. I wonder, do we also want to add... Do we want to add anything else just for decoration? Well, we do want some railings. We'll do a bit of that while we're here with a little bit of time left for the episode, so we might as well put some in. Ship decoration pack. Railings. It should be a... So it should be a... Great railing, four meters. Well, that's a different angle. Yep, yep. It's that one we want. Oh. Hey, maybe not. Uh, where's two meter raining? Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit on on this one, but let's not just about find any everything. Oh, 
A three meter, there is. Don't want anyone falling off the ship. Even if they are just decorations and not actually solid. Just imagine someone's going to try and grab one of those and just phase straight through it. Uh, right. I think we could potentially have for decoration, because again, it doesn't matter about it not actually being solid. It's a small amount of lag, apparently. Hmm. Oh, where is the... what is it called? Should be in here somewhere, unless I'm going mad. Some... Oh yeah, they've got a really nice radar. What about that? Uh, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for... Oh, come on, don't tell me I'm crazy and it's not actually in here. Is it one of these? Is that why I can't find it? It is one of these. Is that a straight line door? There is, on it. there is one of those, so we'll do that. It's reasonably neat, apart from the fact it sticks out. Ah, there we go. Still sticks out a little bit, but it's a lot less bad. Add some... Yeah, why not? We'll have some box vents up on deck as well. Cranes, which are those are quite substantial, but we could go for those. So we're on to kind of decorations at the moment, so it's not too vital about being super functional. We'll go for those two. And then up on the top deck, we'll go some smaller ones as well. Uh, got to be able to lift some things onto the top of the deck. Uh, yeah, maybe that's Diamond's mm. dead. But yeah, because we can place them anywhere. Let's put them as decorations, put them there. Heavy lifting gear on this battleship. Right. Also put a ladder on the back of the uh, the mast, the main mast, because that doesn't have one. Yeah, that's actually stick out there, so that's fine. Oh yeah, there's actual rigging wire in that, isn't there? Something like cables and things. Um. Do we want to try and set up any of that? I don't specifically, I have to admit. It's different between a halyard wire and a regular one. And there's two next to each other, and that's the most I can tell, so we won't worry too much about that. Uh, so there are searchlights. I don't know that they'll do much, but we could have some searchlights. Why not? They look kind of neat. It kind of looks like a, like a half salvager, especially with those big cranes. What is the lore of this? I could not tell you, but... Not controlled by AI. Ah. Fix that. Right. Yes, we want an anchor. I think what we'll do to finish the episode is we'll add a... bit of an anchor chain setup, and then I guess next episode will be one of the last things for the fences. Which will be the shields, and we'll also cap off this ugly... sort of layer around the top of the deck, so... Oh yeah, lifeboats will want as well at some point. Um, like I say, I would like this to look nice as well, even if it doesn't actually do much. Anchor chain parts, right. Oh my god, there's loads. They've added a lot more of these. Okay, that's like an anchor actually coming out of the hull. Yeah, as I said, I believe these are the bits for making it look as if you're
anchor is actually going into the deck. I've got a spare chain of it. Uh, it's the one in decorations you have to use, I guess. Okay, that's fine. Why do I have to move that back to make it look right? I don't know. They do look quite close together, which I'm not sure I'm so happy with. Is there a, a smaller one? There's a smaller one. I don't know if that's too small looking, but we'll go for the smaller one. Seen on the bow, alright. Oh, Secure so anchor chains, alright. Oh, Chain swivel link. Oh, that's for, yeah, as we said, that's for the anchor, isn't it? Capstone. Oh, that's the same idea for going into the uh, deck. Where's the chain for this? I know they do have one. Sorry, I'm um, spent the last bit of this fiddling around looking for a piece of chain. It's a very big anchor there. Got a load of different types. Uh, is this one that's four long, if I remember correctly? A bit larger than that. How big is this thing? Okay, that would look alright if I can... Okay, let's do... let's go for that one and then we'll go for the winches at the back. Oh, there's the uh, thing I was looking for. So, one, two, one, two. Got to be two in the way for the um, the rail guns, but I would like to have it for the decorations. But again, I don't want to block the shot if it's in the way. So what we might do is have that be. Is it a little bit cheaty to have it as a decoration so the guns can shoot through it? Uh, maybe, but it's fine. We're we'll shooting there smart enough to not shoot at it. Right, and then we want the. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Look at our anchors. Cool. We'll call that... Oh, we'll increase the size of the smoke a bit to scale it up to the appropriate size for our massive great steam turbines. Um, and I think we'll call that there for the moment. I'd say the ship's starting to look at least pretty good. Yeah, that's more like it for the size of the air funnel. Yeah, so at least it's starting to look more like an actual ship. We'll test uh, the actual um, detection systems as well in the next one. But yeah, I think we're looking pretty good. If anyone's got any ideas for little decorations, obviously we'll do the railing around the edge will be one of the main ones. If anyone's got any ideas for little decorations or things we could tweak with the decorations to make it look nicer, let me know. We could probably do some stuff here. I'll put some lifeboats on and life reservers and things. That'll be one of them. But any other ideas, do tell me. And yeah, I'll catch you guys all again next time. Sorry for the audio in the last one. It should all be fixed now. Bye-bye.